Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. And welcome to my channel. Make sure you guys hit that little red subscribe button right there in the corner in order to get new videos and content on my channel. There's a lot of new content coming here. And the only way you're going to see it is to subscribe. So thank you guys who are here for me. And make sure you like my channel, make some comments below. Let me know what's going on with you guys, okay? So I'm going to be talking about the weekly vibes from March 18th to the 26th. So you guys, some of you might still be having that kind of St. Patty's Day hangover effect, right? How many of you guys celebrated St. Patty's Day? So I was going to wear a little green, but then I thought, no, because St. Patty's Day was yesterday. However, in Ireland, they are still keeping that going on. The celebrations go on for quite some time. So um, happy St. Patty's Day um, to everybody, by the way. So let us talk about the vibes for this week. We have Pluto moving into Aquarius on the 23rd of March. That has not happened for 200 years. Like, oh my goodness sakes. And it's going to continue on for the next 20 years, which means that you're going to see how our planet is opening and awakening even more so we have seen how humanity has started to awaken and and more truth has been exposed and more truth is going to come out even more and more and more and more there's been a lot of heckling on the news especially in canada here with certain events no one can run from karma that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna talk about politics don't get me going of course not okay so we have the equinox the equinox energy here with the new moon in aries you are going to have to watch my other video i did on the equinox new moon in aries to get the full scope that's why you have to subscribe to Jenny's channel, right? So we have that energy to work with this week. And it's time to slow down and do some reflecting on that. Plant your seeds, right? Some of you, depending where you are, some of you could be in spring or autumn or wherever like that. I'm into spring here, still waiting for the snow to go away and the weather to start warming up. My goodness, right? So it's really important on the new moon that you plant your manifestations. Manifestations are really high. Animals are very sensitive as well. I'm not going to talk all about it because you can watch my separate video, but our animals are very sensitive. So there's a lot more issues with health as well for us and animals during that time. So if you have any concerns, by all means, please take them to the vet and get yourself checked as well. Okay, so there's passings. There are a lot more time when our animals pass on the new moon. So when they start acting funny, just show them some love. Show them some love. Our planet is awakening more into unconditional love as well. And we're going to see that energy moving towards as we move into the Taurus stellium towards the 24th and the 26th this week, when we're more into unconditional love and compassion. Show kindness to you. Show yourself some love. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and say, I love you. You're doing an awesome job. You're doing amazing. When was the last time you told somebody that supported somebody in a positive way? You're doing awesome. Good for you. You know, it's the little steps that someone can take and yourself that can really make a huge difference. And this is the week to do it. Slow and steady wins the race where some people, they just dive in and they can manifest things very quickly and expand really quickly. So you have to go on your own rhythm and your own flow with this week. You're going to feel it in your body. 
as well. Okay, so the 18th, the 18th, the calf and the ankle and the shin area, you could be having some more um, sensitivities in that. So make sure you do some gentle stretching, gentle stretching, because some body parts, it gets affected a little bit more according to the planets and such like that. So just do gentle stretching, gentle stretching. And the sun is moving into Pluto as well, which very well could give you a little bit of energy. So if you want to do a really, really intense workout, just please make sure that you do a little bit more stretching on the 18th. Perfect. Perfect. Because have you ever did a full workout or do something you didn't do stretches before and then you're like oh my god what have i done what have i done like oh my goodness sakes i have done that and paid the price dearly with my knee and different areas so please be careful so on the 19th and 20th we have a little bit more issues with our body as well um feet toes um pineal gland um, and it's really important to set some boundaries because we have Mercury involved with that as well with Pluto. Um, really be careful what thoughts you're thinking because the manifestation is really high, especially that day. Be careful what you wish for. Be very, very specific. Um, you might start to feel a little bit of doubts, a little bit uncertainty as well. You might be like, geez, you know, like, am I on the right path? Am I, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right career path? Am I in the right relationship? So take that time to reflect and start to pause and, you know, go over karmic lessons and be really, really honest and keep it real. Keep it real. You're going to start seeing your, your power coming out more. You're going to start speaking your truth as well more this week. Be very careful, you guys. Be very careful. We can manifest whatever we want, but then you're going to be like, geez, am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I, am I? So, you know, St. Patty's Day, celebrate, have some fun, have some fun, you guys. Okay. I have a little green on, but it's not here it's under <laughs> so depending when my video goes up my producer decides to put it up on saint patty's day it goes up on saint patty's day and then happy saint patty's day you guys okay so really really pay attention to this new moon and aries we have coming on this week and um on the 23rd as well that's a huge day when pluto moves into aquarius by the way you might have some issues um with your teeth and your head like some head pressures as well um you might even kind of like feel a little bit kind of stuffed up the, the stomach a little bit nauseous and you're gonna find that your sleep could be off i've been getting lots of emails jenny my sleep has been off i talked about that in last week's cosmic vibes so we have a lot of energy. How many of you are sleeping in the middle of the night? You're waking up and you're like, oh my God, I can't get back to sleep. Like you're feeling the energy of the planet shifting. You're feeling the vibration of the planet lifting. Our angels and guides and ancestors are here to help us transcend forward in quantum leaps. They're helping the darkness leave. They're helping the darkness see more of the light with unconditional love. So, and it can be really hard to get back to sleep. The more sensitive you are, your sleep can be off. Like I will wake up in the middle of the night and I'll be like, okay, I need to get back to sleep. I don't have time for this, right? Most of us work, right? And most of us are busy with our schedules, regardless of what it is. And it's really, really, really important to start to say to spirit when you wake up in the middle of the night, I can easily fall asleep with ease. I am falling back to sleep with ease. And lately when I've been doing that, I have been falling back to sleep, but I've been waking up later 
later. Like we've changed our clocks an hour ahead of time where I am here. Not every country or state or province does that. So I am waking up later, like later. And I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe like, wow, I really, and sometimes it's two hours later than normal. So spirit has given me back some sleep that I've been missing out on for quite some time. So I'm like, okay, normally I'm really early at the crock and down. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to give my dog her medications here. Like, holy smokes. Wow. Right. So I focus on her immediately right away now when I get up. So things change. It's all about adapting and really going with the flow of the energy this week. There's huge changes. There's huge transformations coming with our planet, the new moon energy with this Aquarius and, and new changes with Pluto and such like that. So and make sure on the 24th and the 25th this week, watch your neck and shoulders and your throat, even wear aqua aura and make sure you do more stretching like you know, neck stretches, even neck stretches, be really, really careful. Be really careful because we still have solar flare energy, which you have to drink more water that changes your sleep. You can feel nauseated. You can feel bloated. You can feel gassy. You can even start to change your diet. Lots of things happen with the solar flares. When is it solar flares? It seems to be happening all the time, right? Like, oh my goodness sakes. And that can throw things out of alignment. That can that can create issues on the earth, earthquakes and all kinds of things happening. Drink lots of water. Make sure that your animals are drinking a lot more water as well. Make sure their bowls are full. Do your stretches, shoulders, arms, back, hands. There's hand yoga, hand yoga. I'm on the computer all day long and and um, I have to do yoga with my hands. And you ever notice your hands get really kind of like tight and, and your fingers get sore? Pull your, ow, <laughs> not that hard. Very gently pull your fingers back one by one very gently and hold it there for a couple of minutes. You can feel the strength right here. You can feel that pull there. Do that for each finger very gently. And also too for carpal tunnel, put your hands down like that. Just tap it very gently, very gently, very gently. See right on your wrist there, hang it down very gently. Just tap it very gently. And that helps move the energy around in your hands as well. Like you're really going to see that with your hands this week too. So again, the stretches this week is really, really important. And with this Taurus stellium coming in, you're going to want to be more grounded and you're going to get more grounded. You know, Taurus is the earth energy, very sensual earth. You know, go walk in dirt if you can, put your feet in sand, uh, you know, do some meditations. You're going to also want to spend more time alone this week too. And really um, embrace that energy. Your ideas are going to be starting to come in. Really pay attention to those ideas that you're hearing coming in. You know, as we're building our foundations, if um, you're like, geez, how do I, 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 how do I do this? Either you can start learning about it, take a class, learn about different things, or hire someone that can help you work through things or do things for you. That's the best thing that you can do, because unless you have the time to take classes and learn how to do things. And some of you, you have signed up for classes. How many of you have signed up for classes recently? in wellness, in holistic health. You're gonna be finding that you're gonna be shifting your energy more to the Eastern healing modalities and walking away more so from the Western. We need the Western and the Eastern combined together, together. We, we have to have that flow, keep the chakras going, the holistic, the wellness, the natural and the medicines. So we have that choice and that freedom to make our own decisions. So it's very important to show kindness. Please don't judge anybody. Please don't judge anybody. We have our own journeys to walk and 
more and more truth has been exposed. It's coming out more and more and more and more and more. And even during this transit, it's going to come out more. The people are taking their power back. The people are tired of the bullshit, to be blunt. I don't know how else to say it. So you're going to start moving forward in quantum leaps when you're ready, when you're in alignment with your soul. And you're going to start hearing from certain people that you might not have heard from for a little while either. There's going to be people, especially with the Taurus energy, that are going to be like, hey, do you want to get together? How are you doing? <laughs> Sensual energy, compassionate energy. Show love, show compassion for humanity. This is where our earth is going. We're in that spiritual war. We're in that spiritual vibration. So you can either choose to have peace or to create your own war with others. Which direction are you going to walk? Are you going to walk with your soul combined and connected as one vibrational frequency and soul? Or are you going to walk all ego and connect with the lower energies? The choice is yours. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards and see what the universe has to say to us. And make sure that you clear your cards three times on wood. Boom, boom, boom. Declare the energy when you last use them or whoever else used them. So I don't use cards when I'm with a client because I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, meditation and life coach, teacher, relationship coach, chronic healer, and the list goes on. So, um, however, because this is collective, we're going to see what spirit has to say. And I just say spirit, I say we, because I hear messages 24 seven. You have no idea. So, let us ask spirit, what is the collective message for March 18th to the 26th for us? What is the collective message from the animals? From the animals. I'm going to hear what the animals have to say. I get messages all the time from the animal kingdom, from animals. I'm an animal communicator, as I stated. And even more so right now as we get towards the new moon energy too, because as I mentioned, there's going to be animals leaving and passing. So what is the message from the animal kingdom? It's a message from the animal kingdom. It's a message from the animal kingdom. It's a collective message. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know how I was talking about unconditional love and it's really important to show kindness, show kindness to yourself, to others, compassion, don't judge anyone. The energy with the animal that came out was the hedgehog, is the hedgehog. Prickles push people away. Show your softer side. Your softer side is your heart. Your softer side is your soul. Looking into the eyes of your beloved. Looking into the eyes of your friend. Towards humanity. We all are dealing with things in our own way. Not others talk about it. I don't talk a lot about my stuff that's going on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. some people say geez jenny we we never hear about issues with your dog bella anymore she must be healed with her surgery no she's not cost me about a thousand dollars a month in met in vets medications i just stopped talking about it so we're all going through situations show love and comp companion and compassion Companion, companionship. The choice is yours. Do you want peace or do you want war? Thank you, Animal Kingdom. I hold them very sacred, very sacred animals, very sacred, very sacred to me. So 
let us see what our ancestors have to say to us. What is the message from our ancestors? March 18th to 26th, what is the collective message from our ancestors, from the spirits, from the realm? <laughs> the dancing spirits. So I'm seeing some people dancing. Dancing spirits. Dancing spirits. So for those of you who are celebrating St. Patty's Day, you know, the dancing. And you don't have to celebrate St. Patty's Day. You don't have to celebrate at all. Dance, dance. How many of you are dancing? I keep on hearing dancing for some reason. Maybe somebody's going to ask you out. You're going to go dancing, right? Maybe you're a dancer. If you want to be a dancer, there's your sign. There's your message. So what's the collective message from spirit? Didn't feel that card. What's the collective message from spirit? March 18th to 26th. What's the collective message from spirit? You're going to be taking your power back even more so this week as well, you guys. So, um, wow. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. Open to love. I was just talking about love, companionship. Open your heart. Speak from your soul. Be open. Unconditional love. Show kindness to humanity. The card of all cards that fell out, open to love, relationships, passion, fulfillment. We have that Venus energy with us as well. And with that Taurus energy, as I keep on talking about, you know, relationships are with yourself, number one. Self-love is very important by setting boundaries, by making changes for you. The only way you're going to see anything change is to start making those changes. Relationships are with your neighbor. Relationships are, are with your work, with your friends, with your families, with your, with your spouse or partner, with your animals. We all have that soul contract with others. How you choose to spend that time with them is completely up to you. You want to block people out without resolving issues? That's going to come back on you. Resolve the issue one way or another with that person. Then you can move on. I help people resolve issues. You just can't block someone and walk away and think that it's over. The story doesn't work that way. Karma. Let's resolve that. There you go. <laughs> so um what other cards shall we pull i might say let's talk to the crystal world you know i love my crystals so let us ask the crystal world the galaxy of the stars and the crystals what messages they have to say for us this week how many of you guys use crystals like what's your favorite crystal like do you guys have a favorite crystal what is it I mean, I love all crystals. I don't have one specific favorite crystals. I mean, today I was drawn to my, uh, oh, amethyst, my big amethyst, my aqua aura, my obsidian. <laughs> uh, I have others on uh, my rings, my red jasper, you name it. I just kind of my jade, my tiger's eye. So uh, mind you, I've had a busy day. So utilize what you're drawn to and don't forget with this new moon energy to cleanse your crystals put them under the moon the moonlight as well and for those photographers taking photos under the new moon i miss doing that and i love seeing your photos for those of you who do take photos of the new moon of the stars and such like that oh oh so anyways rambling on what is the message from the crystals what's the message from the crystals what is the message from the crystals wow amazonite amazonite oh wow this is a very cool card isn't that kind of cool amazonite look at the green energy there green is the heart chakra green is healing so this is all about unconditional love, speaking from your heart. And in order to have a good relationship with someone, communication is really important. If there's no communication with that person, 
there's no relationship. So it's really important to open up your heart. See how the background is like that purple, that amethyst? Amethyst purple is a very high spiritual color for the crown and opening up. The lotus comes through and all such like that. What a beautiful card. What a beautiful card that is. And there's a little face in there too. I just saw that. Can you see that? How many of you can see that little face there? I just noticed that now. So I'm sure you guys can see that. Let me know if you can see that face. And what are you seeing? That's like, no wonder Amazon, like Aztec energy, a lot of shamanic energy is coming through. I talked about that in my last um, video, actually. Um, some of you might be more drawn to like drumming, the shaman energy, medicine man energy, taking more um, like courses um, or doing studies or research on the plant kingdoms, Amazon, natural healing, Western, I mean, Eastern medicine and such like that. How many of you guys are doing that and have done that? It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Adam, I'm hearing you coming through for some reason. For some reason. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to say why. Um, and oh, by the way, you guys, um, before I forget, I have I have a show on the Conscious Awakening Network. I'm so grateful that they've asked me to, to be a part of that. And um, the second episode's coming on on March 25th, by the way. So look for the Conscious Awakening Network under paid programs. And you can see it on Apple TV. You can get tickets, all kinds of things. So it's this Saturday, the 25th at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific. So before I forget, um, you guys can look me up. So what is the message here? Let's get another message out. It's another message here, March 18th to 26th, Himalayas. Himalayas, I'm hearing. Watch your step. Watch your step. Um, um, what am I hearing here? Watch your step, Himalayans. For those of you who are going any mountain climbing, um, if it's to the Himalayas especially, I'm hearing specifically Himalayan. Um, but mountains, any of you guys are doing any climbing, by the way, be really careful. Just be a little extra careful. Make sure your equipment is all intact. Safety belt. Take your time. Don't rush it right now during this time either. And make sure you're doing some stretches. You know how I talked about our ankles and our calves and just different things. We need to stretch our body because there's different ailments this week. That's why I'm adding that in to specific days, especially if it's a specific day, if you're going mountain climbing or doing anything physical, really pay attention to certain um, of those body parts I mentioned during the days because they're more sensitive, which means that it can easily get inflamed or we can hurt it a lot easier. So um, what is the message um, from the spirit world collectively March 18th to the 26th? <laughs> what is what is the message here? Um, angelic assistance. How beautiful is that? Divine guidance, loving support. Looks like, oh, I love this card, actually. Um, it's an angel wings. It kind of has that Mary Magdalene energy. Look at that and, and see how... Um, the angel there is giving loving support and guidance. Do you know that our angels and guides, I've talked about this in, in other videos, our angels are closer to the earth more so right now because of what's been happening and the world's been awakening, spiritual world, war going on. And because you're going through a lot and have been going through a lot, your guides and angels are closer to you more than ever. So really make sure that you um, call upon them, like really call upon them. They're there. And I mean, I'll ask for a physical sign. Please give me a physical sign. You're with me. I mean, you go on your own comfort zone, right? I physically can have energy is right in front of me like boof and it and it can kind of throw me off at times depends and I'm like wow you know but most of the times I'm it doesn't matter I'm, I'm used to it and such but really listen to the the energies um what they're saying to you and also your dreams your dreams are going to continue on this month this is a very high month 
of consciousness. Your energy is shifting from the lower to the higher, and you are going to start to see and have seen certain results even more that you've been working on with your foundations, regardless of what it is you've been working on. Um, you probably started to see more of those results last week coming through. And as we're working through this equinox energy right now, really plant those seeds with uh, manifesting what you want to do, especially when you're hearing um, new projects or new things you want to do, especially, you know, now to the end of the month, really pay attention to that because that's your soul saying, Hey, we're with you. We're, we want you to move forward. And you've been seeing those synchronicity numbers, one, 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 two, 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 five, 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 and so on really pay attention to that and as soon as you start seeing those numbers immediately whatever you're doing or thinking especially if you're thinking like fear or negativity or whatever it is shift that mindset from fear to positive energy by five five changes thank you spirit for for bringing me through these positive changes i am open to receive beautiful positive changes that are in alignment for my highest self and my highest good when you work with the energies like that you're going to be really surprised how quickly things are going to manifest think take some time out for you in solitude start meditating start turning that phone off Setting boundaries, self-love is the key, you guys. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you would like to book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. I give you a very detailed reading with a lot of details. So on that note, I'm wishing you a beautiful cosmic week. And subscribe to my channel and make some comments, you guys. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. I'm an international known clairvoyant psychic medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on. I am here to tell you there is some exciting news. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. That's right. There's new content coming out weekly. I'm going to talk about the weekly cosmic vibes, what you're experiencing, and why, how to utilize that, and giving you the reasons behind it. We're going to talk about the new moon, the full moon, Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to give you those insights how to manifest and make things happen for you at the right time time it's time everyone it's time to wake up this planet let's show some love and compassion let the fear go let the negativity go let's do this together and transcend your soul in quantum leaps i'll be here where are you? Hit that red button at the corner there, subscribe to my channel, and let's make this happen. Let's do this now. Namaste.